just want to air out some thoughts about a new tool that I've discovered called Flash Power Tools. It's developed by Electric Dog, and this tool has rekindled my love for animation. I've always loved animation. You know, animation is awesome. Character animation is a specific category of the animation world that is really challenging. There's a character that I've been working on. Uh, she's my animated presenter. I've spent a year or two, you know, off and on, working on dance sequences, working on the artwork, working on turnarounds. And before this tool that Electric Dog has created, and it's a plugin for Adobe Animate. Before that tool, my design was gonna be to animate her as an open rig where all of the elements are just loosely associated. And I wanted to use a style of puppet animation that manipulates like the arm or the, the leg or whatever. But basically the animator has to manage the joints and the connections between uh, the different parts of the character kind of eyeballing it you know and there are tools that you can use by copying and pasting or having a pose library uh, there are some nice efficiencies when you're animating with a simple character or with an open rig uh, so you don't always need to, you know a real complex system of rigging to connect everything that's fine however everybody else not, not everybody else but many other uh, software programs uh, many other to software animation tools have Sophisticated rigging um, systems, a Toon Boom has probably one of the most enviable rigging tool sets in the 2D animation world that you want to talk about. Moho uh, Anime Studio also has some fantastic tools. And then there's Spine 2D, there's Adobe After Effects, which is a, a very, I mean, that's a lot of software to, to pull out if you're just using, you know, if you're just doing 2D animation. Notwithstanding, the um, is it the DUIK and the um, you know the, the way that you can manage and manipulate uh, assets in those programs really amazing. Which begs the question: Why haven't I used those tools? Part of the reason is because I'm deeply committed and I'm deeply invested to the A Adobe Animate uh, workflow. I've spent two decades using that program almost daily. And I love that platform, I love that program. Um, the tool set has been dragging its feet far behind industry standards and it breaks my heart. So this new tool by Electric Dog is really catching that program up in some major ways. Uh, if you've been seeing or following any of my stuff, uh, you can see that I'm celebrating um, this tool. And yeah, this thing has really rekindled my love for animation in a way that's beyond just affection, there's an efficiency that I'm gonna have with uh, my character tool set. And it's, yeah, I mean, the best is yet to come. And there is a gotcha. This system works best when there's a, a very steep economy of art style. There are certain artistic conventions that you cannot use with this type of puppet animation. And I think most animators, they understand that with puppet animation, there's a give and take. Your rig gets a lot of mileage, but you know, the art form is a little different. 